Colonel Virgil E. Sandy Sansing is a great American and a true hero. He is a veteran of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Sandy was a fighter pilot and flew fifty and a half missions, including two on D-Day, before his P-51 Mustang was hit by ground fire while attacking German troop trains in Chateau Thierry, France. He evaded the enemy and fought with the French resistance until General Patton's Third Army liberated the town where he was located. Sandy also flew 350 missions as a forward air controller during the Vietnam War. Sandy enlisted in the United States Army Air Corps prior to World War II and worked his way up from private to full colonel during his career in the Air Force. During that time he earned two distinguished flying crosses, an air medal with five oak leaf clusters, a Purple Heart, a National Defense Service Medal, American Defense Service Medal, a World War II Victory Medal, and the French Legion of Honor. As a lifetime member of the Commemorative Air Force, Sandy flew many types of World War II aircraft in air shows and in countless missing man formations for funerals of veterans until he was 83 years old. He was inducted into the Combat Airmen's Hall of Fame in Midland, Texas in 2007. Sandy is 91 years old, and although mentally he is quite sharp, physically he has weakened and can no longer walk. A wheelchair accessible van would make it possible for Sandy to attend monthly luncheons with his friends, many of whom are World War II veterans. It would also allow him to visit friends at a World War II hangar he helped restore and see airplanes he flew and helped maintain in San Marcos, Texas. Virgil E. Sandy Sansing is a true American hero.